Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. We follow a double feature with our Star of the Month, Fred Astaire, dancing with Rita Hayworth in the 1940s, with a double feature of musicals from the 50s, in which Fred tripped the light fantastic with another beautiful lady, Sid Charisse. So up next, we bring you The Bandwagon, made by MGM, directed by Vincent Minnelli, and produced by the prolific Arthur Free. I mean, talk about great credentials. This movie was also co-written by the same team that brought us Singing in the Rain, Betty Comden and Adolph Green. And just as in Singing in the Rain, they had so brilliantly satirized Hollywood during the dawn of talking pictures, this time out, they poke fun at the Broadway theater crowd. It's a modern story, Fred playing a movie star whose Hollywood career is basically on the rocks, so he reluctantly decides to return to Broadway in the hopes of revitalizing that sagging career. But to his chagrin, he's cast in a musical opposite a ballerina, not his style of dancing at all. And worse, he's to be directed by a self-professed genius determined to turn what was planned as a light little musical into a reworking of Faust, a challenge to say the least. But it's terrific fun, Minnelli being the perfect one to direct a musical which poked fun at New York theater types because before Minnelli ever set foot in Hollywood, he'd been one of those theater types, a prominent New York set designer and director. Here is, without a question, one of the best of all movie musicals, a joy to watch from start to finish, with Sid Charisse a knockout as a ballerina, Jack Buchanan playing a satirized combination of Orson Welles and Jose Ferrer, and with Nanette Fabre and Oscar Levant playing thinly disguised spoofs of Comden and Green. From 1953 with songs by Arthur Schwartz and Howard Dietz and choreography by the great Michael Kidd, we bring you The Bandwagon.